Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the GameCube. I'm SquareX987 as part of the Naked Gaming Group channel. So uh, last time we uh, uh, we found out what objective we needed to, to, to do next, which was uh, repair the, uh, the train trolley to go to the clock tower in the next area in the game. And we were stumbling around and we... Uh, or we will we were backtracking around rather and we got this uh, battery which we need to operate an elevator which is back this direction um, and I think I have everything I need wait did I put those ink ribbons back I did okay so now we're ready to go back this direction there's an area that we skipped earlier um, coming through here that I didn't go, but if you'd been uh, searching around, you probably oh, I forgot these guys respawn just this one time. Oh, good, I killed you before you hit me this time. See if I can do the same with you. Not fortunately, no well, yeah, I did. Good. I did proper dodging that time. I still haven't really figured out the dodging. Uh, for the many years that I've been playing this, I still have issues with it. Uh, getting to pull it off successfully, but um, most of the time I can dodge the enemy attacks. But anyways, that's <coughs> enough about that. All right, so this was the elevator that we needed a battery for. To go down here to the, uh, I think it's a public workstation. So we need to switch to this really quick, and uh, I can't get over there close enough. I have to do this the old-fashioned way. There's another explosive over there that I can take out most of these guys. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. Finally got a twofer on the with the shotgun. All right. All right. But uh, I'm gonna come back to this body. There should be some more handgun rounds. I think 30 or 60. Ah, 30 rounds. That's fine. Let's see. Can I get that? No, I can't. Yeah, I didn't think you were dead. That right, I was trying to shoot that. Oh man, this is so much harder on uh, manual aiming. You know what, I think I'll just skip it. I don't have to blow it up. Let me see if I can... I, you know what, have I ever checked these? No, I haven't. Oh well. But anyway, we can get inside this. That door over there is locked, so we have to go to this back door. And I think there should be a couple of red herbs in here, if I remember correctly. I'll be going ahead and picking these up too. Yeah. Well, maybe. Let me check my... Oh, yeah, I'm good. I have plenty of space in my inventory. Ooh, well, maybe not. Um... Yeah, I think I should be okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hold off just one second. I can always come back and pick that one up. I'm just gonna pick up one of the red herbs. I still have four first aid sprays, so I, I should be okay on health. I don't have to pick up every piece of health. Because I'm not sure if there's any... Uh, Okay, I was okay, because uh, depending on what scenario I'm on, because now I'm, I'm all confused on which one I'm playing, uh, there should be some uh, B uh, gunpowder ammo right here, or some B gunpowder, but since there's not any, I have an extra inventory slot, so I'm good. Oh yeah, first we have to set this machine here to manual control, and it just lets me know that I can short circuit it in manual control mode, so that's fine. So we have to get these two shutters open. Well, it tells you what the uh, the value you have to set these ma this machine at to get in them. But since I've played this a hundred times, I'll, all you have to know is to do red, uh, red, blue, and blue. Oh, <laughs> apparently I don't know it as well as I thought. I take that back. It's a uh, red, 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 blue. That's the the right value got confused for a second. Maybe I should have read the door after all. Or read the description on the door. Anyways, this should be our other, uh, it should be my grenade launcher now. Yep. If you were playing one of the other scenarios, you might have picked up the grenade launcher in the police station, and then the magnum will be here. So, depending on what scenario you are, you either get the magnum first, and then the grenade launcher, or the grenade launcher, and then the magnum. But anyway, uh, that being said, now we have another choice to make here. 
Now the easiest solution here, which is the one I've I've always pretty much always pick here, because the other option is just kind of stupid, because the zombies survive, and you go outside, and then you immediately have to fight Nemesis. So my suggestion suggestion can't speak is to increase the, the uh, voltage output of this machine. It'll electrify all of those guys. They're dead. And when you leave this room, you don't have to fight Nemesis. So that's, that choice is just a win-win. But but now, you know, it's if you want to do the other option, it's fine too. There's nothing wrong with it. But with doing that, though, it changes this machine because I just short-circuited it. Short-circuited it. Can't speak. I can't say uh, you know big words back-to-back. -back, but now we have to guess the new value at the door, which I think it's uh, 20 is the number we have to go for. But... Uh, all we have to do is go red, red, blue, and then blue. Right, it's 25. I think it's 20 to 30. So any value between there, but open the shutter. So actually, if you're speedrunning the game, you can actually just skip this shutter here. And if you don't need uh, the weapon that's in there. But since I'm not interested in doing that, this is just a casual run. So now we can exit out the same door we could. Oh, also, if we chose the other option, to it. use the emergency exit, Jill would have went through that door instead of uh, electrifying the zombies. But since we killed them, we just exit through the same door we came in. And uh, let's see, do I want to pick up that red herb? I think I'll leave it because I actually don't need it at the moment. So I have plenty of health in my inventory in the chest. So I don't normally skip the red herbs, but it's, it's fine. I think the only times I plan on getting killed is from uh, Nemesis when I make poor decisions on when to use my health. So, <clears throat> other than that, I don't. Most of the normal enemies won't kill me. Most, not all of them. There, there are a couple that we haven't seen yet that uh, I, I still have a hard time with. But overall, the dogs I have the most trouble with. Uh, as stupid as that sound uh, sounds. All right, now right here. Oh wait, no, I have to go back this direction. Never mind. I was about to say that there's some optional backtracking that you don't have to skip, but I forgot. This is not it yet. Alright, there's a zombie crouch there, but as long as you don't uh, progress past the door here, you can take out these uh, zombie. Well, I don't think I can get him down there, can I? Yeah, I can. It's kind of a. I think it's just out of rain. I knew you weren't dead. I was waiting on you. Alright. As soon as you walk past this guy, I'll get up. Oh, sweet. Good hit. That was an awesome headshot there. And we're almost done with this weapon before I'm going to trade it out with the other, the, uh, the M92F. Alright, you didn't die, did you? Pretty sure that was supposed to bust open. Oh, yeah, you didn't die. I didn't, I didn't hear you fall down. Anyway, there's some uh, uh, grenade rounds inside that car for the grenade launcher, but I have to wait on that zombie to bust the door open. You know what? I'm not going to... I'm going to leave those three rounds in the chamber here. I'm not going to use this weapon. I'm going to switch out to the other one, and uh, I'll explain why in a minute, because I should be getting to the point where if I, as soon as I get some more... Uh, a gunpowder, I should be able to, uh, well there's still 12 rounds in this one, so I should, I should be fine. Alright, we can put the fuse away, we don't need it at the moment. Oh good, I can make a, uh, let's grab this, another green and red herb mixture. Do I want to keep that with me? Let me see, let me think a minute. No, because there'll be a first aid spray that can play some going, so I can, I can leave that here. Uh, the reloading tool I need to keep, the grenade launcher, do I want to keep that on me? Then we'll have one, two, three items. I'm going to be one item too, too heavy. I think for now I'm going to drop the grenade launcher off. And let's go with the handgun. Go ahead and fill the cartridge back up. Alright, so now we're going to go this way. We're going to head back to the um, that place that I mentioned, I think, either episode two, maybe three, where uh, there was a fire that was blocking our path. Oh, we'll need this battery cable too, but we can actually pick it up on the way back, can I? Yeah, I can. We can leave it there. We need, that's the battery cable we need, or a fuse cable is what they call it for that train, but we can pick it up on the way back. Excuse me here, I had, I had to get 
drink of my, uh, uh, I had to take a drink, I can't even put my sentences together. And today, I'm drinking vanilla coke, I was drinking water, went for a soda. In case anyone wanted to know what I was drinking, I know you probably didn't, I just felt like sharing it for some odd reason. Alright, uh, you know what, I think I will take this green herb. Cause I believe there's a uh, red, a red, a single red herb I can pick up later on down in this area that I'm going to. Anyways, this is what we needed to come to. Uh, we needed to use this wrench here to get this fire hose to get that area that we saw earlier that was on fire. Well, there was a uh, kind of like a uh, not exactly a fire hydrant, but it was like a hydrant on the wall that we needed to um, needed a hose in order to put out the fire. So that's where we're going now, and it was back this direction. Ooh, I think there's a couple of chimeras in here, too. Let me see. Oh, yeah, but they can easily be taken out with... Uh, well, one of them, anyways. The other one survived, because he was fast. He, he knew what I was going to do. Well, I wasted a shotgun round, but that's okay. Alright, let's go back to my handgun. I probably should have kept the grenade launcher now that I think about it. I can pick it up right here. There's another save room if I'm going to, or I'm going to pass by it. All right. You know what? I, I think I will have to because I'm going to run out of ammo here soon. All right. This, I got six shotgun rounds. Should have known you didn't die. The one that was behind me. So you can sneak up and kill me. Alright. Did you die now? Yeah, you did. Okay. Oh, that's that's another reason why if you don't want to uh, kill all the enemies, you can just sneak past them. Because a lot of the areas that you you have to go back to are just going to be infested with zombies again anyways. Alright. Tell you what, I'm going to put out this fire here. Alright, and now, I'm going to go check, uh, excuse me, I'm going to pick up my grenade launcher here from the item room. Remember all the, uh, the item boxes are linked to one another, so I guess it's like a portal to another world. Alright, I'm going to actually drop off this green herb and switch it out with the grenade launcher. Alright, I should be okay with ammunition right now. And now we can head down this direction. I apologize if you heard that. <laughs> um, let me see. Actually, I need my shotgun. Um, right away, I believe. Yeah, because there's more chimeras. Nah. See, I, I mistook there was... Uh, I thought there was a red herb here, but it's actually a blue herb. Which, uh, you know what? I only have one in my chest. Let me go ahead and take one. I don't think I ever told you what the blue herbs, blue herbs were for anyway. They were in case you get um, poisoned by some of the enemies. I think the chimeras can poison you, but I, I, I can't remember to be exact. I'm waiting on you. Oh boy. Well, I think I brought the grenade launcher, but before that... Alright, this crank here. This crank is optional. You don't have to take it. It's not required to progress in the game. But uh, if you don't take it, you miss out on 18 uh, grenade rounds, so it's, it's, it's beneficial to you. But if you're speedrunning the game, let me see if I can get that. There's always a explosive. There it is. It just kind of gets in the way, and it can actually hurt you if you, uh, if you miss the enemy and you hit that and you have auto-aim turned on and you shoot that explosive, you're pretty much uh, on danger if you get hit by it. But anyway, there's one more Chimera over here. Should have known you were gonna hit me, you bastard. And you hit me again because uh, I have poor aim. Did I get poisoned? No, I just got injured. Okay, maybe he can't poison me. I can't. I couldn't remember. But uh, anyway, as I was saying about that square crank, 
If you're doing a speed run, you actually have to run back to another area to use it. I'll shut up right now. I'll let this uh, sequence here take place. What did you do? I had no choice. It was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. Well, I don't like killing. Uh, you know, I probably wouldn't have been able to shoot the guy, but I, don't, I really, I don't really can't fault his logic on that. You know. All right, got our first aid spray, and there should be a file here. I think. Yeah, business facts rather. Order sheet: the liquid medicine named VTJ98 is suitable uh, suitable to cultivate. The uh, net T type virus. Therefore, we will need uh, to order additional quantities of it. Umbrella Enterprise Six Laboratory. So this is an umbrella-based uh, laboratory here. Well, remember uh, they're a pharmaceutical company that deals with a lot of uh, drugs, so it's to be expected they have a lot of laboratories. And now the managers report. Before you be begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool to be used by people. You must check all personnel coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. If any of them are missing, <laughs> you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked. But when you let personnel in, uh, into it, you will need to have them hand in their uh, documents. And above all else, remember that if you find anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. If you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password from the terminal of it or of, of the PC for administration. Blah, 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 blah. Well... There's, there's three passcodes depending on what scenario this is I'm playing I'm gonna go I'm gonna guess that the passcode for this one is Safsprin. and before it's gonna be different it, it tells you on the TV oh hey good job the other two choices are um, uh, for passcodes could be Aquacure or Advil which is a I guess a play on Advil which is kind of funny but anyway so we just put the password in here. So, and I can't say I've ever had to deal with a, a DOS prompt. Uh, I guess it's more like a Mac. I never really had a Mac more from the 90s, so I don't really know how OS it, the the Mac Apple OS has worked in. But this looks similar from what I've seen to how some of the uh, prompts were laid out. But I could be completely wrong on that. This could be like DOS prompts. Regardless, it shows you how. Well, I mean, you can just tell by that wall TV hanging there. <laughs> they used to put those bulky TV TVs up in the corners, which was cool at the time. But now that you know, you have digital flat screens, which I kind of like the bulk. I like the shape of the bulky screens better. But of course, I like the picture quality of the flat screens. I don't know how I got off on that tangent, but anyways. Now in this room, there should be some. Um, handgun rounds and I should be able to in fact I'm gonna go ahead and waste that bullet there because I wanted to make a space in my inventory I should be able to make um, uh, some enhanced ammo for my uh, handgun now I'm gonna actually confirm that let's see no actually not yet maybe one more well before that let me go ahead and make some shotgun rounds um, wait a minute do I want to fill up my inventory just yet let me see uh, let's see oh, I shouldn't have picked up that blue herb it's kinda of in the way you know what actually I can just use that first aid spray that'll take care of that let me pick up this I do need some more shotgun ammo so I know I'm gonna make at least one okay now what I really want to do here let's see I need some I'm gonna be picking up 18 rounds so I need at least one of the bees um, 
alone, so I can use the A's. I don't need to make any A's, do I? Yeah, I want to make one A and one B. So I need to have one A and one B here. Yeah, of course, there it is. Um, that's what I was trying to make there. This new enhanced ammo that's a lot stronger. So what I'm going to do... Um, uh, let's see, what can I do here? I don't want to have to run back to the chest. I think I know what I'm going to do. Which is not very smart. I'm just going to waste uh, the 20 rounds here to empty out this cartridge. I think I, I still had, should have five more. Alright, perfect. And then I need uh, an A and a B. But I still have one slot. Ugh, dang it. Um, yeah, because I need another B for a shotgun round. I'll tell you what. I should just save those bullets. I'm going to have to make another trip back to the uh, save, uh, uh, save box. Anyway, I'll go ahead and do that now. But anyway, I think I'll call this video here. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And uh, please subscribe to the Naked Gaming Group channel. And I'll see you next time.